This is Sergeant Tyler Johnson. I'm a squad leader of 1st Squad, 2nd Platoon, Battle Company, 117th Infantry. And today we'll be going over the Chinese Rifle Squad. So this is an information brief and it is unclassified. And the purpose of this brief is to go over the strength, composition, and capabilities of the Chinese Rifle Squad in comparison to the strength and composition of the United States Army Squad in order to prepare, prepare our junior NCOs for future conflict. So first we're going to look at the United States squad leader compared to the Chinese uh, rifle squad leader. Um, so the United States Army squad leader carries an M4 carbine, which ranges around 600 meters, while the Chinese squad leader carries the QBZ-95, which is similar to that of an M4. It ranges around 400 meters, and the squad leader carries MBGs, a handheld radio, a laser rangefinder, and a GPS, which is similar to that of the United States Army squad leader. So next thing you'll see is um, in the Chinese Army rifle squad, they have an assistant squad leader and a squad leader. Um, these two guys um, can be delegated to whatever task is needed. They have no assigned roles, and that's one thing that is interesting about the Chinese rifle squad. And the, the assistant squad leader um, has the exact same thing as the squad leader, um, and once again, can perform any task needed. So next, we're gonna look um, at the teams uh, for the Chinese rifle squad. So the Chinese rifle squad is composed of two teams, you have the anti-tank team, which we're going to cover now, and the uh, machine gun team. So first off, the Chinese anti-tank team. You have a Grenadier, which carries the DZJ-08. It's similar to that of an AT-4. It ranges around um, 300 meters. And also they carry a QSC-92, which is a pistol, and it ranges approximately 50 meters. And one thing we'll notice later is with the United States Army team, our Grenadier carries an M4. So the range on these weapon systems are much different which is one thing to take into account. Next, you have the assistant grenadier who carries the QBZ-95 rifle, once again, which is equivalent to that of an M4. And the rifleman also carries a QBZ-95 rifle, but also carries a 35 millimeter QLG-10, which is similar to that of um, a grenade launcher, which you'll see right here. And this is attached to the QBZ-95 rifle. So next, we're going to go to the machine gun team. So first off, you have a machine gunner. And the machine gunner carries the QJY-88. Um, it's ranged around 1,000 meters. It's similar to that of an M249, which is a light machine gun. Next, the assistant machine gunner carries the QBZ-95 rifle, once again, similar to the M4, but also carries the 35 millimeter QLG-10, um, once again, and it's ranged around 200 meters. And finally, they have a sniper, which is a QBU-88, and its range is around 1,000 meters, and it's similar to that of an M110 Cypher. And one thing to keep in account is these two teams are specialized. You have an anti-tank team and a machine gun team, while in the United States um, Army Squad, it's composed of two teams which are composed of the exact same things. So within the Chinese squad, they have a machine gun team and an anti-tank team, so they're specialized in certain areas. So next, we're gonna look at the United States um, squad team. So there's two teams in the United States Rifle Squad. You have the Alpha Team and the Bravo Team. One thing to know once again is the squad, the team is the exact same. They have the same composition and they're ran by team leaders while in the Chinese Rifle Squad you have a squad leader and an assistant squad leader. So first the team leader once again carries the M4 carbine. The automatic rifleman um, carries the M249 uh, machine gun and its range is approximately 800 meters. The Grenadier carries the M4 and the M320. So looking at the um, Grenadier from the Chinese Rifle Squad, they carry the pistol, which ranges around 50 meters. So the composition of the Grenadier is much different um, for the US Army Rifle Squad in comparison to the Chinese Rifle Squad. And finally, we have the Rifleman, who carries the M4 carbine, and its range is around 600 meters. So once again, here's the Bravo team, and like we said earlier, the composition of the squad is the exact same, composed of two team leaders who lead both of these teams. So, in closing, the big takeaways from this brief is to inform our junior NCOs of the composition of the Chinese Rifle Squad in comparison to that of the United States Army Rifle Squad. Some big takeaways from this brief is that in the Chinese Rifle Squad, you have an assistant squad leader, and a squad leader, while in the United States Army Rifle Squad, you have two team leaders. And the composition of the weapons are similar, but we made the comparison to the United States, so our junior NCOs are aware of the strength and capabilities of these weapons. Also, in closing, um, any questions or um, 
data needed. And then finally, um, uh, here's work cited. This is where we got all our information um, to make sure that this brief was factual and have as much information as possible. And this will close my brief.